Nani? You finna die, baby. YouTube land, what's good? It's your boy B Head, aka Brian, aka Print, aka Chris G about the Hayden. Uh, entered my first tournament in some times. Long, long time. I want to say since last year, my first ever tournament online edition, uh, Mortal Kombat 11 of the Realm, hosted by Destroyer this week. FGC Destroyer, follow him if you don't already. And speaking of FGC, my first opponent was your pure FGC is someone that plays against Rewind a lot. I seen this guy use Detrion, so I was thinking that he's going to use Detrion in the matchup, but that wasn't the case at all. He ended up using Cassie. Maybe he's working on his Cassie. Maybe Cassie is his main. I really don't know. And today's video is just me doing a match analysis, breaking it down of kind of what happened. Um, I, I, I played nervous. I played nervous. And that's something that's kind of an issue with mine is I, I play nervous and it's like I, I'm shocked to be here, if that makes sense. And I got to stop doing that. I also got to find my character. I, I'll get into that later. But uh, yeah, we played against Cassie Cage versus Luke King. This is uh, Luke King's first variation versus Cassie Cage's first variation, which I think in the matchup, I should feel confident. But my Luke King neutral is not uh, as good as it needs to be. Uh, playing pure and uh right away hitting me with a down four and i noticed that i checked a lot with uh down ones i think ghost made a note that i i, I hate i i don't I hate admitting like my mistakes and my flaws as a player it's just when ghost say it, it just sting a little bit more because ghost is like he's 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 a confident brother like ghost and grim i listen to them i, I take what they say seriously because my boys those are my brothers but it's just they confident when they speak about certain things. So it's like it's a pride thing, I guess, that hits different. Is like because like if Ghost is like, all right, I'm gonna stop the shit, or if Grimm's like, I'm gonna stop the shit, they stop it, you know. So when they say something, it's like it hurts because it's like, bro, I I know, but like you know what I mean? Like I I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, you're gonna notice that a lot. Is that a lot of times I end up getting trying to check with down one, and see I did it there, and uh, Pure picked up on that, and he was able to. Uh, call me out for that and a lot of things was just just nerves honestly because like like that was a good confirm good punish there solid oki see there i kind of short hop and look at what he does when i've been playing luke king lately and uh good throw by him i didn't take a single throw i think in this set maybe two at most i just got hit there i was holding rt but i think it was the direction that i was holding it wrong and then like right there i didn't get my up three I would have easily took the round and have been happy with the round, but I just didn't get up three. I don't know why. I grabbed again. <sighs> it hurts to watch over again. He was able to block that, and I just got my dome piece cracked, bro. I just got my dome piece cracked. <laughs> ah, I hate it here. But just, I, I don't know. I ended up playing with the Xbox controller. Uh, it was on PS4. I feel more comfortable with the Xbox controller, but I might I might just have to suck it up and just learn to play on PS4 because I tried a flawless block there. It didn't come out. I was able to get to confirm there, so that was nice. He kept getting me with this low gunshot. I think he was just he literally just caught me moving. Cause my whole thought process and philosophy was I, I guess that's a mid, but that's why that hit me too. But my thought process and philosophy was I had to get in. I I feel like Playing guys like Pure and these FGC dudes and the guys with the sponsorship, uh, you know, the abbreviations. And man, they don't give a fuck about my feelings. Sorry to be frank. Sorry to cuss. They don't care about my feelings, right? So by them not caring about my feelings, I had to get in. Because I feel like if we got in a situation where, perfect, like right now, where it's Cassie Cage is pretty much three-fourths of the screen away or full screen... He's not gonna stop doing what he did, and he clearly did that this set. So that was my problem. It's like literally, you're just catching me, Dash. He's, he's catching me, Dash. I'm not gonna say I wasn't blocking it. And I forgot right there. I forgot it was a mid. Like, can I? I forgot it was a mid. So I tried to fly over it, and then I got clipped. Yeah, that hurt. Literally just trying to dash in. I like to zone, but Luke King is low. I feel like it's not as fast as Cassie's mid. And like, look at that, like, 
Got in. Didn't get a hit. They just stayed my ground. Good dash and throw. I was getting thrown a lot. But I take that trade though. Good, good whiff punish. I gotta give it up. Can I? Is there a way to go back? Damn, whiff punish my life away right here. Like, look at that. Look at that. Before he even gets a turn, standing one. I was just nervous. I was nervous. And not to mention, uh, this was actually the second round matchup. So by this being the second round matchup and winners, I didn't end up playing my first round matchup. So that was like 20 minutes of waiting. So you go from being anxious, nervous, excited, paranoid, scared, all this, all these feelings of emotion. You just sit with it for 20 minutes and then you got to go play. You know what I mean? Like that did not help. That did not help my game at all. Uh, to get a hit there. See, it's like, I would say in this set, I tried to dash in and get a standing one, but I didn't get it there. In this set, in this one especially, like uh, set two, I, I got hits that I just couldn't believe that he got hit by, and then, like, I just couldn't get it confirmed. Yeah, that flying click away was just literally just to get away. <laughs> I can't lie about that. I was just like, all right, fam, let's, let's just vomitos. Another one, another hit that could have easily done a bicycle kick. Would have been left to standing. I would have been plus five. Could have put him in a situation. I feel like that's the main thing I did. Like, she pure put me in a situation. And you know, that was obvious. That was, I know it, it don't mean, I don't, I know it don't mean much, but coming from me saying that was obvious because this is a pro player and all that shit. Bro, on my mama. I was going down to this. I don't know why. I think I just, I, I have a tendency of like doing it as a reaction and not a read. Uh, I have to be more patient and just duck. Because I swear this was obvious. I knew this was coming and I still got hit. Because I didn't tech it. I just down to But I did it so quick. That, and then again, again, bro. I think this is what it means to be pro. Uh, can I go back? Down one poke. Get clip. Got I noticed that in pure set, I was like, damn, bro, I, got, I really got stopped down one poke. And then the staggers. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do because, like, anyone that watches this video, anyone that plays Luke King, right? In my humble opinion, I want to get right before I jump. God damn. Sorry, it's a little hard. Like, in this range, what can he do? Because I only know four, like, I think I got whiff punish around this range doing a four four. Can't, I don't think he can, maybe he can sweep, maybe sweep. Maybe? Like, you know, like, Maybe I can sweep. I don't. Let me know. Four four maybe. Yeah, I just got anti aired. It. I don't know what I try to do. I think I try to wake up sending one. Like, cause you'll see in one of these situations that that I actually hit him with a one two, and I didn't confirm it. But I try to hit him with that, and I feel like I would have caught him a lot with that if I was ready. Great jumping. Bad uh, fireball by me. Again, with punish my life away. But he walked back first, right? That was obvious. At that point, I should have just blind kicked. That was that was a layup for him right there. Another throw. I didn't take a single throw. Daggers. He ran into that. Yeah, that's that's one thing I need to do if I if I continue playing Luke King. I need to utilize the fireball game. Can't with punish a fireball. I ain't gonna lie, this neutral was fun to play, even though I, I I sucked and I was losing. This neutral was fun to play. Like I could actually kind of see what was going on. Got the hit confirmed there. One of the rare hit confirms, and then I, like I put myself in a great position. Gave me them. Did he try to press something here? Or he just got hit? Maybe he tried to react to it. I don't know. I felt like that was like the easiest thing for me to do is walk in and out and hit a fatal blow 
Because worst case scenario, I have armor, uh, depending on what he hits me with. I was feeling confident. I also, like, okay, hold on. I also want to say my thought process about this situation right here. Oki's not great. I was personally confident he wouldn't. Like, not saying, like, he has a, a better standard than, than, uh... Me, I guess, and not to use this like wake up fatal blow or nothing like that. I just, I just was confident he wasn't gonna use his fatal blow, so I think I just kind of walked him down because I didn't want. Or did I, did I fireball? Yeah, I kind of walked in and then fireballed because I was like, what? I feel like he's not gonna do anything too risky, so I just got to play my game. Did a fireball, kind of just, just kind of got close, and then looked at the situation, got a hit, and then I should have just. I was on autopilot when I finally got the hit. I should have just honestly down too, because Cassie Cage's health. I don't know if that would have killed, but it'd been awfully close to where I could have just done a thing. He like caught me there. I, that threw me off. What? Okay. Yeah. All right. That wasn't this. So I was able to take a round off. I was feeling comp like the set for as bad as I played. I, and I don't want to throw no shade or nothing like that. I, I didn't feel it like pure didn't feel untouchable, you know, like I didn't feel like oh, I, there's no way I could win. Like I was like, that was a bad, that was bad, <laughs> but it, it didn't feel like un untouchable to like compete and play against them. Yeah, he did it again. I called that one out too, but I think that time I did try to press something like interrupt it and then I get escape failed for trying to punish the not punish but attack the throw but yeah he didn't feel untouchable it didn't feel like he was leagues above me and then like right there when i said i was gonna wake up and hit with standing one two and that was it and then i didn't confirm it i don't, I don't know i think i i think i did the standing one two as if like he was in the air you know how you do like one two dash one two dash and I, that's what i got and again and again ah, if you're a prince Bjorn fan you probably hate me i'm sorry trade i knew i couldn't take no trades here uh uh he well he didn't have muted it. okay and then, i don't know how i didn't get the x kick there i i soon I, I think it was this jump when i broke away as soon as i did this i was like i should have just jumped neutral jumped because i i jumped in every time i should have just neutral jumped at least one time and then I was like, as soon as I did that, I knew I was like, crap. I was like, crap, crap, crap. I ain't gonna lie. I just, I, I don't know. I just felt like he's gonna do a down one into throw, so I wanted to. If I could be cheap, cheeky. Uh, my thought process is like, damn, I have opportunities. I just got capitalized off the opportunity. I readied up immediately because it's like I just gotta, I just gotta do my thing. And I'm not doing that. And I personally, I don't. Lu King is top five. I'm not or top five, top ten, whatever you want to put. Lu King. I don't want the record to be known that like I don't think Lu King is good or strong. I just think me personally, the neutral I have to play with. Luke King, I don't know if I could do it per se. It's kind of like, hmm. Kind of like Android 18 in Dragon Ball Fighters for me. I love playing Android 18. I think I could be good with Android 18, but Android 18 requires you to have good neutral. If I only hit my opponent with my daggers and block strings and I, I kind of can't get in, I start super dashing. So I just feel like Luke Kang for me. I guess that's also why I got to find my character because it's like, I don't like prime example. It's like Cabal is great in the right hands, but I don't think I could play Cabal. I just gotta find who works for me. We'll figure it out. I just, I think I just need something for somebody to fear that I don't necessarily have to do. And like, what I mean by that is like, I want an overhead that's a true overhead that you don't have to, like, you have to think about it. And whether I'm gonna go overhead or low, you know? Not necessarily like short hop or jump in. Able to block that again. Again, <laughs> got the hit. And it's like I knew. What's depressing is I knew I just missed it. Because I immediately just went in for a throw and then got punished. Every time. Oh, he dropped it there. You know, I didn't do any 2 on 2s Could have utilized that. I don't think I could have got the 3-4s popping. 
The only reason I threw him away from the corner is I thought he'd tech. I didn't even care about the skate fell. I just thought he would stay. I thought that would be a punish. I, for some reason, I thought that would be a punish just because I, I think I flawless blocked. Maybe I didn't. Did I not do it on reaction? Yeah, I fla Oh, I... Okay. Never mind. I'm thinking the wrong one. That's probably why I, I fucking got hit. Because I thought I could flawless block that. Ha! Got hit. Broke away. Daggers. Got him, bro. The hits are so bad. I, the probably the one like, okay, you look like a tournament player that I did here. Was the neutral jump punish with the bicycle kick? That's probably it. I, I don't know what else. Uh, got a sweep there. Started to mix it up a little bit. And again, another one. Oh, Prince. I hate you, bro. And here, I know I have a lead, but I, I, I... It's so weird. I can earn a lead, but I just give them away like they're hot kicks. That time, it actually gave me my punish when I wanted it, thankfully. Ah, uh, yeah. He got me off guard with that. I'm not gonna lie. I, if I let go of block, I think I could get a punish. And right there, I promise you, you probably won't believe me. You probably won't believe me. Even if you're pure watching this, you're like, bro, no, you didn't. I swear on everything I love, that was a that was a low fireball. That was a low fireball. It was a low fireball. Now, whether I would have EXed it or not, only God knows that one. But I promise you, I, I did that. I didn't even, like, I did a low fireball. Because it's like, I, if you would at least do the up three... And shout out to Pure because he was ready for that situation. I would at least do the up three if I was going to do just the string. And yeah, he got me. He got me. Yeah, his Cassie was legit. Cassie was super solid. Um, I don't want to take anything away from Pure. Like I said, like I just I felt like I didn't play to my standard. And that's just, that's just me. Like I. I'm just confident in myself to where I feel like I could play a certain way and that's just who I am and I, as an individual and who I believe I can be. Um, I even hit up Pure. I was like, GG's, you know what I'm saying? I played scared. I, like, I would love to play you again because I, I feel like I could, could compete, you know? Like, I, personally, I would love to play him again. I, I, I want to know where I'm really at because like, tournament nerves are just different, bro. Like, it's just, Tournament, and I advanced from the first round, but I didn't get to play anybody, so I was like pretty much nervous and anxious and excited for 20 minutes on end. Nervous and excited for 20 minutes, you know what I mean? Like, so, uh, yeah, GG's to that, brother. Uh, yeah, hopefully, you did enjoy today's video. Uh, I will be my other matches tomorrow. Um, They'll probably be out earlier. I think, I think I am going to enter. I need, I need a redemption arc, or if anything, if this is not a redemption arc for this week, I need a a training arc. If, if this can level me up as a fighting game player, because I've been working a lot on my hicker firms and doing just safe boxing as far as MK. If I was playing Cabal, for instance, my hicker firm. After a string, no man dad. Block string, yes. I've been working on doing, I've been getting consistent. And my button inputs are clean because of that. It's just, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I, I, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I'm an elite level player and I'm like optimized to the fucking skills. I think you could always work on that. Always work. It confirms but. That's really what I probably going to be a raw no edit video because talking to you guys. Really like comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any Dragon Ball Fighters tournament, feel like I might. I uh, love you guys. Till next.